Hello and welcome to the Sussex Daily News Channel version 2 on YouTube. Tonight we update the shocking claim from New Idea magazine. Meghan Markle walks out on Harry. Harry was betrayed and divorce comes to him. As Prince Harry prepares to fly home to the UK for crisis talks with his grandmother, the Queen, sources tell New Idea that tension is well and truly brewing between the Duke and his wife Meghan behind closed doors, and Meghan was spotted leaving in the middle of the night. As we know, Harry is expected to meet Her Majesty at Windsor Castle any day now to face the music, and staff has been told to start preparing for what's set to be an intense emotional visit. A source told The Sun, quote, Staff at Windsor have been told to prepare for the possibility Harry could come back, but Meghan's name was not mentioned. Now, New Idea can reveal Meghan's not happy about it, and it's driven a further wedge between the couple, who have continued to put on a united front while appearing in video conferences from their Montecito home recently. Things aren't great between them, says the source, adding the two have barely spent any quality time together. Word on the grapevine is that Harry spends more time with his dog and young Archie than he does with Megan, who's escaping the weird tension between them by hanging out at the restaurant near her house, having social brunches and meetings. Megan can often be seen holding court at Stonehouse, the five-star restaurant within luxury hotel San Yercido Ranch. You see her in there several times a week, the source continues. Locals are starting to wonder if she actually lives there. Given what royal watchers are saying about her marriage and the added strain of a reported baby on the way, it's not far from the realms of possibility that Meghan has fled to the ultra-exclusive enclave five minutes from the home she shares with Harry. Rather than a single building hotel, San Ysidro Ranch features several separate cottages spread over spacious grounds, each with its own parking space and private gardens, with some accommodations boasting their own pools. A night there can cost upwards of $2,000. If Megan was staying at the ranch, it would be difficult for anyone to know for sure, as the staff are well-trained in being completely discreet for their high-profile clientele, explains a source. Indeed, it was a location of choice for former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill to escape the world, along with President John F. Kennedy and his wife Jackie Onassis's honeymoon retreat. It's a real mover and shaker kind of place, where celebrities and assorted high flyers meet to make deals over cocktails and farm-to-table food, says an insider. I'm not surprised Megan feels at home there. She loves mixing with those kind of circles. Plus, it's so close to her house that she can be home with Archie really easily. The ranch is sort of Santa Barbara's answer to her beloved private members club, Soho House, where she and Harry held most of their dates in the early stages of their relationship. Nowadays, he's by her side a lot less when she goes out, the insider claimed. Meanwhile, according to New Idea, Princess Diana's biographer, Andrew Morton, has revealed the so-called feud between Prince Harry and Prince William could be the result of a huge misunderstanding, Wills' fury over marriage mistake. It's been long thought that tension between the brothers was sparked by William reportedly urging Harry not to rush into marrying his future wife, Meghan Markle. But speaking to New Idea, the author of 1992's Diana, Her True Story, believes William's intention was not to offend Harry. When William said to Harry, take as much time as you like, that is based on the new protocol inside the royal family that allows a royal prince to test the waters so they don't have the calamities they had in the past, explains the veteran royal watcher. But while Harry immediately took offense at William's interference, Andrew believes William was trying to encourage Harry to live with Meghan for an extended period before marrying, in what he calls a, quote, test marriage. It's how the royal family now behave, he explains. William lived with Kate with the Queen's permission. Harry could have lived with Meghan with the Queen's permission. Andrew continues, 
It's significant that William and Kate were like an old married couple before they were married. They'd been living together with the Queen's permission in a test marriage. Meanwhile, for Harry, he is currently dealing with the most difficult part of his life when he accused of putting cash before duty after stepping back from the royal family. Later last night, according to royal commentator Dan Wooten, Prince Harry sold his right to have any problems with the commercialization of the royal family. He moved to California after announcing that he would be stepping down as a senior royal in January and becoming financially independent. In that time, he and Meghan Markle have signed an exclusive Netflix deal worth an estimated $250 million. And royal commentator Dan Wooten said the deal means he put cash before royal duty. Speaking to True Royalty TV, Mr. Wooten said, Harry has sold his right right now to have a problem with people commercializing the royal family, commercializing his mother because that's what he's done. And I do think it's sad. But at the end of the day, Harry is his own man. I think he has put duty to one side in exchange for cash. And it's not something that I will personally celebrate, especially when you look at all of the good work he did do with the Invictus Games in the past. They are sad and unworthy. Of course, he traded cash for duty and his self-respect as well. He listens to others that only want the fame he has been able to provide. No amount of money is going to make them successful. They or I should say that he made a mistake. The name of their new program for Netflix is Trading Titles for Cash, How We Use and Abuse the Platform Given to Us by My Grandmother the Queen by Harry Markle. And right before that is the world premiere of How Britain Showed Its White Racist Backside to the Whole World to See and Caused the Sussexes to Leave. I heard it's a blockbuster. Mr. Wooten also warned the couple against any programs about Princess Diana as part of their Netflix deal because it would upset Prince William and strain the relationship further. He said, We already hear there is a consideration for a program on Princess Diana. That will very much upset Prince William, because remember when they did that landmark ITV and BBC series to mark the 20th anniversary of Princess Diana's death. They were very clear that it was not going to draw a line under it. That was it. There was no more. They felt they had said everything they had to say about their mother and the death of their mother, and they planned to move on in terms of any television projects. If Harry and Meghan go against that and make a program on Diana for Netflix, I think that will only throw salt in the wounds of the already very, very fundamentally damaged relationship between William and Harry. And not only Mr. Wooten slammed them, personally, the fake persona she tries to emit, a paragon of virtue, it doesn't sit right with the persona of the man she married. Playboy planet polluter with an eyebrow-raising past of distasteful racist party outfits. You can only come to one conclusion, can't you? A viewer has brutally mocked them, wrote on Daily Express, Harry is Nutmeg's lapdog. He gets a treat for everything he does right, according to her, and that means she didn't get her way when it came to the royal family, so she made sure to make matters strained between him and the royals. She could cry victim when they finalized Megxit. So yes, he put money over family, because it is what she wanted, and what was determined to make if one tiny thing went wrong, she would get her life back in Los Angeles. Not that she had much of one, since no one likes her. Nutmeg knows if money, all she cares about is money and how to be fake and get the friends that will help her on the way to the top and then step on them as she goes. Already she is changing Harry, making him get hair transplants and be a producer or whatever it is because he needs to be a man that fits into Nutmeg's lifestyle so he has to look good. Harry and Archie are nothing more than props something Nutmeg can use when need be to make cash off of. Just that Harry is married to her, so he is her meal ticket clutch. Once no one cares about his royal connections, he will be dumped. This fan's comment may seem cruel, but I think they only speak their opinion. And you? Do you really think Megan's like that? Talk to us in the comment section below. 
Don't forget to share this video with anyone you think will like it too. And again, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel if you watch our team's video for the first time. Now our video would like to end here. Thank you for watching. Have a good night and see you on the last video of the day in a few hours.